Well, hello friends, this is Amy Frilici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I have a super cute little treat idea for you. Of course, it has chocolate inside, a little Twix bar fits perfectly, just kind of slides right in there, which is great. It's tight enough so that it's not gonna fall out either, which I've made those in the past where they haven't been quite as tight. So I wanna show you guys, we're using some fun new product, um, actually some new label dies that we have in our January to June mini catalog that are gonna help us create this treat. So let me show you those dies and then we'll kind of get started on putting this together okay so here are this is called the seasonal labels die set okay so this big one right here we're actually going to use two of those to create that treat but can you see all of the other awesome labels that are in here right so we've got lots of great shapes and then they coordinate with the christmas season stamp set so you can see some of the pine cones and some of the other imagery that's in the stamp set can be cut with the seasonal labels dies as well okay so let's see let's get started i'm going to kind of just yeah walk you through and then i'll tell you about the other things that we're using as we go these i will tell you are available for customers to purchase starting on august 3 i believe isn't that crazy I'm, it's either august 1st or august 3rd i'll include that in the details to the YouTube video once I get it uploaded to, just so you know for sure. So you can't order them quite yet, unless you get the starter kit. If you're interested in getting the Stampin' Up! starter kit, you can order new um, January, or excuse me, July to December mini catalog product. You can order that in your starter kit too, so you could get these dies and the Christmas season stamp set um, in your starter kit if you would like. So I'll include all of the item codes and everything that you need to make your purchase. Um, either through the starter kit or in August when you can purchase out of the catalog, okay? So here we go, ladies. So we are gonna start, let's just do our die cutting first. So we're gonna use, this is that biggest label die that I showed you. And I'm gonna scoot that little baby right up there. Okay, so we're gonna pop our die cutting machine right on here. And you'll see actually, so I have a piece of, um, blah, what is the name of this color? I'm drawing a blank. This is, um, um, it's going to come to me because I can't think of it right now, but it will. Um, okay, I'll come back to that. <laughs> anyway, this cardstock is three and a half by eight and a half inches. Um, and I think that was just kind of a handy way to cut things. And you're going to need two of these label dies. Soft sea foam. I knew it was going to come to me. I was like, okay, don't panic. <laughs> All right. So I already cut one label out, but I wanted to show you instead of like doing two of them while we're on the video, I just wanted to show you. So you kind of line this up and I want the bottom, um, like I don't need this piece right here. I want to have a straight edge. So I line it up just across the bottom there. And then we're going to do another die cut on this one. Okay. So we're just cranking our handles. It's a little bit wiggly and crackly there too, right? Okay, so then we have both of our little label pieces. You got a little extra card stock, you can save that for something else. And then with the same label die, I have, this is a basically a two inch wide strip of the Pansy Petals designer series paper. And I am gonna just lay that right on there. And two inches was about the height that worked perfectly on um, that little treat idea. So that's why I went with that. So just kind of lay that on there. It's okay if it's not perfect. People are gonna look at the bottom of the treat to see if it's lined up exactly. But just kind of go ahead and crank that through there as well. The only other thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and die cut our little um, pink leafy thingies while we're doing our die cutting. Okay, so I used an oldie but a goodie, the sunflower dies because I have always loved those little babies right there. So we are gonna use actually this one right here is what I'm gonna to use to die cut the little frond thingies, these little babies right here. And I'll show you how I do that in just a sec. So let's, we're gonna just cut one of these and this is Magenta Madness cardstock. So last year's, one of last year's ink colors. Okay, so crank that through there and I think, oops, <laughs> I picked up everything but the um, one I actually needed trying to just be speedy and get that out of the way. Okay, there we go. So that's all we need for that. All right, so to actually put your treat together. So this is the kind of important part, honestly, is I want to, I want it to be five and a half inches wide altogether. So I am, and I've got my seal plus here because I want to make sure that this sticks really well. So I'm going to line that up straight edge right along there. I want it to be five and a half inches. So I'm going to kind of lay that on there. I'm trying to get that little guy lined up at five and a half inches and then also make sure it's straight across the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to adhere. 
Okay, so that's all you have to do for that. Then I'm gonna score it. I'm gonna put on my, everything all piled up on my scoring plate. That's not what I need. There, I'm gonna all of that up there. Okay, so with my scoring plate, then basically I'm just gonna score it along the seam, which is about three and one eighths inch. Okay, so we're gonna score it right there. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And again, at about, and it doesn't matter as long as you kind of score along each of those seams. That's all we're really trying to do. And then you can fold it up. And again, it doesn't matter if it's perfect here either because it's gonna kind of tie together and you're not even gonna notice if one end is a little bit higher than the other. So don't worry about being super precise. Just get it as close as you can on that, okay? So next, we can go ahead and add our designer series paper to, oops, I'm gonna get a bunch of adhesive on the bottom. So again, I want it to, and I like with that um, little edge, I like that to be at the back so that it looks nice and crisp on the front. So we are going to kind of lay that, right? And I want it just above that little seam there, okay? So that's that right there. We are going to, what are we gonna do next? There is my, I'm just looking for my hole punch. Okay, so we're gonna just punch a hole in the top of each of these little guys, right? Then we can go ahead and thread our ribbon, the pale papaya ribbon. This is such a pretty color combination with these kind of soft pale colors and then with the pop of pink with that magenta. Okay, so I'm just gonna feed that through there and we're gonna make a bow. Let's see, make sure I have enough there, okay? And like I said, I love how easy this ribbon is to work with. It just ties, I think because it's pretty, um, flimsy is not quite the right word, but it's it's not super thick or rigid. Um, so it's really easy to work with. Okay, so we're gonna just cut that little guy off there. I'm gonna trim that end just a little bit more. There we go. So there's part of it, right? Next, we're gonna do just a little bit of stamping. We're gonna use our little oval punch right here, okay? So this is Evening Evergreen cardstock, and we're gonna just punch that little baby right there. Next, we are going to use, this is a super cute, this In Symmetry stamp set. So we're gonna use the Hey Friend, and then that little guy right there is what we're gonna stamp kind of. You can see just, oops, that did slip out. Here I was like, oh, it doesn't fall out, but there, now it's back in. So you can see just a little background right on there too, okay? So with that In Symmetry stamp set, we are going to stamp the Evening Evergreen. We're gonna say, hey friend. Okay, so but it's nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. You guys know that, right? Don't ever press too hard. All you do is get ink everywhere. You don't need it. Okay, so simple, right? And then we are gonna pop that in our double oval punch. We're gonna get a little extra, it's okay. We're gonna just get rid of that little baby, okay? And I like to stamp after I punch. Uh, not normally I don't do that, but in this case, I wanna make sure that I get my little image right where I want it. And I'm gonna stamp it off too. So with Pale Papaya ink, I'm gonna kinda of ink that up. I'm gonna stamp it off just a little bit and then I just kinda of wanna kinda of nice and light along the bottom of there. So you can kinda of see that, right? Okay, there we go, right? Okay, so now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this little guy. And that goes there. So forgot my dimensionals. Just imagine that there were dimensionals behind here. I'm just gonna attach it on for now. Um, but this little frond guy too, so I just kind of, I, it was too long like sticking out, but I kind of liked um, if I just ripped that off basically. And we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive right back behind here. And then we're just gonna add that little baby there. And then that one right about there. Just kind of tack it on with our adhesive. Okay, I'm gonna add some more adhesive. Normally, like I said, I would put um, dimensionals on the back there, but I forgot those. So this would normally pop up a little bit more, but that's okay. And then that just goes right on there. And then last, but of course not least, we're gonna slip our little Twix treat and the little gold ends. I thought like um, the colors worked really well with the kind of sparkly gold with all the other pretty colors that are on here too. So what do you guys think? Aren't those, they're just so cute and simple and easy to make. 
Hey friend, cute little uh, treat with your Twix bar inside. So like I said, I will include everything that you need to know on how to make this um, little treat idea will be um, in the details to the YouTube video, all the product codes, names of everything. Don't forget you can order the seasonal labels dies um, starting in August with the new uh, mini catalog that is coming out. So let me know if you have any questions. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. And thanks so much for watching. Bye everybody, have a great day.